This week I wanted to talk about the Uncharted Drake's Fortune pre-release builds that made their way online a few weeks ago. To catch you up, the Kempi, who is a fairly small YouTuber, bigger than me, but kind of well known if you're into the PlayStation modding space. Anyways, he spent a pretty sizable amount of time and money obtaining three pre-release builds of Uncharted 1 and he was kind enough to dump them on the internet archive for everyone to access and try out for themselves. I managed to play two out of three of them on our PCS3 emulator since you either need to emulate them or use a modded PS3 or a dev kit. I was able to play the May 2007 and the October 2007 builds but I couldn't get the E3 July 2007 build to work for the life of me. I even upgraded my CPU recently and it still did not work after that. So I'll just be speaking about my experience with the two builds that did work. Of course, I'll put links to these builds down below if you want to try them out for yourself, as well as links to my full playthroughs of the two builds that did work. The May 2007 build has no main menu options and just jumps right into the fourth chapter of the game like a demo when Nate and Elena are flying to the Hidden Island. And right off the bat, it was cool to see Elena with brown hair like she has in the early concept art for the game. The game controlled and played pretty normal as far as I could tell. You actually started the chapter without a gun and you could look around without aiming, which I don't think is in the final game, but for sure it's something that changed in this particular section of the game. The only other things I noticed that were quite different were the UI elements. Some of them were not as polished, such as the ammo HUD and indicators on pickups. And the combat in general felt about the same as the final game, but grenades and hand-to-hand -hand combat were pretty tough without UI prompts, though these were pretty finicky in the final game as well anyways. Another glaring issue, if you haven't noticed already, in my playtest was that the skybox and bodies of water were extremely glitchy and broken, though both of these may have just been issues with the emulator rather than the build itself, not totally sure. And the build crashed after about 20 minutes because I kept dying on a platforming section that was just not as polished as I remember. I kept clipping or missing the edges of platforms and eventually crashed the emulator with too many checkpoint resets. Moving on to the October build, it's probably one of the last internal playtest builds since the game launched the following month and probably went gold around this time anyway. The main menu is present in this version and the game started in the usual spot and the emulator was super laggy for me and it crashed almost as soon as I got into gameplay. But pretty much everything I saw looked like the finalized build to me. And again, you can watch my full playthroughs of these two builds linked below, as well as the E3 July 2007 build that I wasn't able to get started on my own machine. Uh, let me know down below if you were able to get it working. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. Like and subscribe, and see you next time.